clap. Come on. Good morning. My name is Mike Ryan. I'm the mayor of the city of Sunrise. But more importantly, this morning, I am a friend of Jessica and Ray, and I have the honor of officiating their wedding. Today, as we celebrate two lives being joined, we recognize that sometimes in life, what we initially believe are unwelcome challenges are actually something more inviting. Sometimes in an acute moment of fate, those that face challenges realize that they face them head on and undaunted. They decide to live life to their fullest, not questioning why, but understanding there is a bigger meaning in life. And Jessica and Ray are those type of people. After a change in the path of their lives and with new challenges, they discovered each other. Their discovery was born through their charitable and loving hearts and spirits. At an event meant to benefit others, they met. And suddenly, everything changed. And everything that had been part of their individual lives, all the ups and downs, now became more profoundly understood. For they were meant to meet, destined to discover each other and a love, an, a love that we now call a wheel kind of love. Yeah. So on behalf of Jessica and Ray, I want to thank everyone who is here to be part of this special event in their lives, a part of their journey, and now a special event in your own life. More profoundly, we gather here to celebrate these bonds, this wheel kind of love on this day, at this event. Together, that means so much for Jessica and Ray, their family, the friends, and the world. And to all of those today in this race, who ran for Jessica and Ray and so many others, we thank you. And on behalf of Jessica and Ray, we really appreciate the well wishes this morning as the runners went by, each and every one of them giving blessings and well wishes. Are you both ready? So at this time, they are going to exchange vows that they have prepared for each other. <laughs> Jessica, I have told you this once or twice before. I asked God for one thing after my accident. I asked to be blessed with someone who, who would understand and love, uh, love me unconditionally. God replied by putting you in my life. We became friends to then becoming your peer mentor and then to becoming your, our favorite love story. Baby, being with you has been a, an adventure, which has, which never wanted, which I never wanted to end. I, I love that we have so much in common, and we are always looking for our next rush of adrenaline. you have come since day one. Not only have you touched my heart, but hundreds of, of others, too. I truly admire how you lose yourself in the service of others, and I, too, want to continue to support you and also continue to help our community together. Jessica, I promise to always take care of you, respect you, and most of all, love you with every ounce of my being, because without you, I am lost. You're the light of my path. You're the light that shines the path when I lose my, my way. You're my anchor for when I need your support and keep my mind at peace. You're my everything that, have, 
you have introduced me to a lot of new things over the years, like this amazing race. We, we do it together every year, and that we are both ambassadors for. Baby, I truly appreciate everything you, you have done for me and for us. I am proud to call you my wife. No matter what life throws at us, I vow that I will never stop loving you, I will never stop caring for you, and I will never stop being the best husband that I can, that I can be. Baby, I love you. Jessica. For those of you that don't know, Ray did propose to me three months after we started going out, and I had a panic attack. <laughs> a full-blown, anxiety-driven panic attack. Four plus years later, we have created this beautiful bond together. I guess I just needed a little bit more convincing about this married life. But I may say, you do make it easy to love your beautiful, deep, old soul. There are not sufficient words to express how much I love you and do you justice, but I'm gonna try and try to get through this without ugly crying. <laughs> I fell in love with your compassion to help others, including myself. You helped me find life beyond spinal cord injury when I was ready to give up on life. I do believe in miracles. And it's a miracle that you're here today okay. sitting before me and our friends and our families and the world. <laughs> Alive, healthy, and I hope happy. And it's a miracle that you came into my life at the precise time I needed you and I didn't even know it. I love that I continue to learn with you because you've taught me so many lessons about life. I love who you are and how you think and how you see life. I like to be an accepting, non-judgmental person like knowing there's always a light even in our darkest hours, to be strong when we feel weak, and when we feel weak, it's 100% to feel that way in that moment, but to never give up when it's so easy to choose that road. <laughs> I'll never get tired of bragging about you and how you are my MacGyver and how you always find a solution for everything how you're so easy to talk to and how we can laugh about the smallest things, how you are truly my best friend and how you go along with all my crazy ideas. I don't know how, God, how I got so blessed with you, but you are the greatest blessing God has ever given me. Today, as we start the next chapter of our lives, I have to say that saying I do is by far the easiest, most confident decision I have ever made. You have shown me the beauty that true love is. I know all stories are all love stories are beautiful, but ours is my favorite. I promise to support you and love you and grow old with you. Individually, we are strong. Together, we are powerful and unstoppable. And now that I know what love and life is like with you, I don't want to know what it's like without you. Ray, baby, it is my privilege and my honor to love you unconditionally for the rest of our days. I love you. Ray, do you take this woman to be your wife, to live together in matrimony, to love her, to honor her, to comfort her, to keep her in sickness and in health, forsaking all others for as long as you both shall live? Jessica, do you take this man to be your husband, to live together in matrimony, to love him, to honor him, to comfort him, and to keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all others, hold on, there's the, the best parts at the end, for as long as you both shall live. <laughs> Ray, please repeat after me. I, Ray, take you, Jessica, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish till death do us part. Jessica, please repeat after me. I, Jessica, take you, Ray. 
to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part. If you would please give Ray the ring. Ray, please take this ring and place it on Jessica's finger and then repeat the following. Jessica, I give you this ring as a token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love. Jessica, if you would now take the ring and place it on Ray's finger and repeat after me. Ray, I give you this ring as a token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love. Now, if you would both join both hands. It is my great honor, by the virtue of the authority vested in me under the laws of the state of Florida, to now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now, you may now kiss for the first time as husband and wife.